An entire town in Ohio under a state of emergency after a freight train derailed, sparking multiple explosions. At least 50 Norfolk Southern rail cars colliding, some of them, according to authorities, carrying hazardous materials like vinyl chloride. You are dealing with something that has never occurred on this planet before. Cut the phone lines. Contain the spread of misinformation. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. If you don't think your government would ever poison you and not tell you anything about it, well, you need to study American history. The U.S. Army poisoned black communities of St. Louis in order to figure out what would happen if specific toxins were sprayed on various populations. The U.S. government released documents in 1994 revealing that it had been spraying zinc sulfide, a toxic substance in St. Louis and other cities as part of a military experiment. A study commissioned by the army three years later asserted that the experiment did not harm or the health of the people in St. Louis, though no analysis of chronic health problems among the people who live there had ever been conducted. So don't worry, people of St. Louis, you were just using a giant toxic chemical experiment. And now another Midwest state is finding out that they are subjects of the horrors and predations of our idiotic government. It is Ohio, East Palestine, Ohio, where the government has been trying to cover up a massive train derailment that happened last Friday when 14 train cars carrying toxic substances were overturned and derailed and then were lit on fire, sending black plumes of smoke directly into the sky and into the air. Well, we know two things right now. One, the government is trying to lie to you and are arresting reporters who are asking questions about this. Two, that these chemicals are slaughtering fish and wildlife and are extremely, extremely dangerous to the people who are absorbing them, breathing them. This is the same poisoning of an entire American population and you hear nothing about it. Look at these scenes, black sky, black clouds. And these are not natural clouds. These are toxic chemical waste clouds. What are in these clouds? We found a very, very good breakdown of what the chemicals were inside of these train cars and why they are poisonous to human beings. Watch. It hasn't been getting a lot of coverage and the coverage that it has been getting hasn't been very good. So let's talk about the trail derailment in East Palestine, Ohio. East Palestine is about an hour north of Pittsburgh, almost halfway to Cleveland. Norfolk Southern has a rail line that goes right through town. And this derailment happened right on the edge outside of town on the border of PA and Ohio. Of the cars that crashed, five of them contained vinyl chloride. It's a monomer used to make PVC. Some of the reporting on this has gotten vinyl chloride confused with polyvinyl chloride, the polymer made out of vinyl chloride. Now, the reason that this distinction is really important is vinyl chloride is very hazardous and very flammable. Polyvinyl chloride is a plastic that's used in like everything. The other thing about vinyl chloride is that it boils at eight degrees Fahrenheit, so it's shipped in its liquid form. Meaning that when these trains crashed and these started leaking, they weren't just leaking liquid, but they were spewing boiling gas. So vinyl chloride is really toxic. OSHA has the permissible limit of how much you can be exposed to it during an eight hour shift as a one PPM part per million average over eight hours. So prior to this, the biggest spill of this chemical was in New Jersey, where one train car and about 23,000 gallons of vinyl chloride were spilled, but it didn't catch on fire. Now, this crash in Ohio has five train cars. These kinds of tanker cars can carry between 25 and 33,000 gallons. Let's call it 250 to 250,000 pounds of vinyl chloride. That's per train car, five train cars. There's maybe a million pounds of this toxic chemical spilling into the ground and also boiling off into the air. But then it caught on fire. I think this is where the reporting is really bad because no one is mentioning what the byproduct of vinyl chloride burning is. Of the many byproducts of burning vinyl chloride, one of them is hydrogen chloride. Hydrogen chloride is really unstable and latches onto water, like just water vapor in the atmosphere. And that turns into hydrochloric acid. So right now, government officials, officials from the railroad, both the governor of Pennsylvania and Ohio are calling burning off the million pounds of this stuff a success 
but not mentioning that it means that we have hundreds of thousands of pounds of acid in the air, potentially. And how correct is that TikTok influencer, Ohio train derailment residents still barred from homes after toxic chemicals released from cars? Mike DeWine says, so far, so good. Ha ha ha. Residents in and around East Palestine, Ohio, evacuated from their homes in the aftermath of the massive train derailment. But days after workers released the chemicals from the rail cars at risk of exploding, they still don't know when they can go home. The health warning and evacuation order from Mike DeWine, that's the governor of Ohio, the crew members let vinyl chloride out of five cars, releasing it, though, and then burned it off while monitoring air quality. Fire and smoke filled the air in the process. This is not concerning, said various other politicians and members of the railroad. Does that not look concerning to you? If you saw this in your hometown, would you not be concerned? This nuke looks like somebody nuked your hometown. And that is actually exactly what the residents of this city are saying. Stan Boney, it's now been 10 days since Norfolk Southern train derailed in East Palestine. And tonight we know more about the chemicals that were on the train. First News digital reporter Jen Rodriguez has been in the village today taking a closer look at what else was on that train. She has those details and much more in our top story tonight at 6. We now know three more chemicals that were on board the Norfolk Southern train that derailed here in East Palestine just over a week ago. And we're being told that some of those chemicals are dangerous. We basically nuked a town with chemicals so we could get a railroad open. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency sent a letter to Norfolk Southern stating that ethylene glycol monobutyl ether, ethylexo acts possible some of these the breath. Isobutylene is also known to cause dizziness and drowsiness when inhaled. I was kind of surprised that when they quickly told the people they can go back home, but then said if they feel like they want their uh, their homes tested, uh, they can have them tested. I, I would have far rather they did all the testing. Caggiano says it's possible some of these chemicals could still be present in homes and on objects until you clean them thoroughly. Fish and wildlife turning up dead, residents told to return home. Uh, what's that about? Well, you're able to see members of this community are walking around creeks and rivers and are finding mountains of dead fish. This is the bridge that goes over top of Leslie Run. This is their filter barrier that they have currently. But I think it's important for people to see the dead fish. Another fish. Um, there's hundreds of them up here in this area across here. Hundreds. They're just everywhere. Um, fish, fish, fish. I mean, these are minnows. I mean, they are in our streams. Fish, 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 fish. So fish are winding up dead and floating to the top of the surfaces. It seems as though the government has some type of a cover up going on here. And now they are arresting reporters who ask questions about this. Breaking news that just unfolded at the governor's press conference in Ohio after that evacuation order and chemical hazards order had been lifted. There was that dangerous train derailment just last week. Take a look at this. Our correspondent, Evan Lambert, had been in the middle of his report. He actually had to stop his report live on air because the governor had started speaking and they told reporters apparently to be quiet. So we had to, to stop his live report. Well, moments later, he was thrown to the ground by authorities, roughed up. He is handcuffed and arrested. As you're looking at this video now, you can see them speaking to him. But look, there he is. That's our reporter, Evan Lambert. He is on the ground. He is being put into handcuffs. And now they are taking him out. So he was trying to cover this press conference as it was happening. He was covering it from the back of the room. He was speaking quietly uh, in the middle of, of rush hour. This is not normal. You don't arrest reporters on the site of a man-made disaster. News Nation reporter faces charges after arrest in Ohio governor's press conference. Just because he's interrupting or speaking and doing a news report with the governor in the same place? Why is everyone so prickly right now? Why is everyone so incredibly disturbed? The pressure is mounting now for people to answer for this, what looks like a nuclear bomb going off 
Time to call in Pete Buttigieg for questioning on what happened. The great people of Ohio, the train, train toxic derailment spill. Marjorie Taylor Greene, East Palestine, Ohio, is undergoing an ecological disaster because authorities blew up a train derailment cars carrying hazardous materials and press are being arrested for trying to tell the story. But, oh, UFOs. What is actually going on? Marjorie Taylor Greene asking. The ecological disaster in East Palestine, Ohio, is spilling over into neighboring communities. These aren't storm clouds. This is the effing S that they burned off East Palestine. This is over Darrington, another community in Ohio. Dead fish and cattle being reported as far as 100 miles away from the site. Journalists covering the story have been arrested. What the hell is going on? You can see here from the sky what the black plume looks like. It looks like a mushroom cloud from an atomic explosion. And, of course, the memes. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg cracking joke about spy balloons as toxic chemicals burn off in the communities in Ohio. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, these people hate you. Remember what they did to the people of St. Louis? They literally sprayed toxic chemicals on them as an experiment, and the government never apologized. What are the Zoomers saying about this on TikTok? What are the girls with pink and green hair saying? I see so many people talking about the train derailment at East Palestine, Ohio. And all I'm going to ask is that if you do this, you get your facts right. It is so much worse than what the media is telling any of us. I'm getting reports from people that are down there right now that they're literally seeing schools of fish floating down streams, rivers, fucking dead. And on the top of the water is a really pretty chemical rainbow sheen. The water's been contaminated. The soil's been contaminated. The air is contaminated. You literally are about to see some of the worst fucking health side effects coming out of people in that town. It's not even funny. And nobody's fucking helping them. Meaning all of the fucking firefighters that we're working get no food, have nothing to help them. Nothing. Okay, all the people that were displaced have no food, water, a place to stay. None of that. Because I'm telling y'all, they are covering this shit up. And then once again, back to this engineer, structural engineer, who I thought was quite informative. Today we got definitive evidence that the fire at the Norfolk Southern Rail Line in East Palestine, Ohio, was a bigger deal than they said. At last Wednesday's press conference with the governor, a reporter asked what chemicals were of concern. And this is what the representative from the railroad said. Obviously the vinyl chloride that, you know, vinyl chloride. they had to vent and burn. And then uh, a little bit of lube oil, non has lube Non has lube oil, a little bit. the butyl acrylate that is what uh, a lot of them, what we're uh, gathering. Butyl acrylate. So today, the 12th, four days later, the EPA released the manifest sent to them yesterday from Norfolk Southern Railroad. This document has been downloaded directly from the EPA's website from the link in my bio. I brought up this non has lube oil before because just because it's non-hazardous doesn't mean that it's okay to spill it into the ground. So he said a little bit. Well, their train manifest here says they lost almost two full loads. These classes of train cars can carry up to 30,000 gallons. I have another video posted right before this that went into more things that were listed on this list but never previously mentioned. So we know that there have been tens of thousands of gallons of petroleum oil spilled. The question is, how much of it burned? We also know that they've been using vac trucks and skimmers to collect more material, but how much have they caught? One gallon of petroleum oil can pollute up to one million gallons of water. It's gonna be really important for us to find out exactly what those petroleum oils were, because most petroleum oils have additives added to them that modify certain characteristics of the product. There are tons of different chemicals that are used for this purpose, but some of them are those forever chemicals, PFAS, that you've heard about. They don't break down in nature, and they can be harmful to humans even in very small amounts. It can cause developmental issues, immune issues, cancer. What this document shows us is there's kind of three levels to this disaster. There was the initial fire, the intentional fire to prevent the explosion of the vinyl chloride tanks, then an oil spill. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, your government does lie to you. No, they don't care about your health or the environment. They simply care about power. They could have fixed this problem through making sure that these trains were secure. But of course, that would have cost them and the lobbyists who support all of them a little extra money. Where are the environmentalist groups? Where is the Red Cross? Where is FEMA? Where is the Sierra Club? Where's the EPA or the Department of Transportation on all this? But you don't hear a peep about this. Why? Well, because it's flyover country, because it's red, a red state, because it's a Trump state. 
And deep down in their dark little black communist hearts, these people actually believe that these poor individuals deserve this. Ladies and gentlemen, America will only remain a free and safe place if we fight for it. So we fight right alongside with you. My name is Benny Johnson. See ya. Thank you for watching. Our channel's here to meme the libs until they cry and then to meme them crying. Their tears, they taste just like sweet, delicious ice cream. Salty, too. We ridicule the establishment and the libs because of you. Your support keeps us going. So if you like what you saw, please punch the subscribe button, click like, and ring the little bell so that you know when we're live. Don't you want to know when we're live? And make sure that you subscribe to our email list just in case the plug gets pulled, as tends to happen. If you want to see more of our videos, click here or here. My name is Benny Johnson. Stay free. Base Patriots.